Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This one is patron vote winner and Brian Adams is one of my favourites ever. Like I really, I don't know what it is about his voice. Of course there are all the things that you can break down, but there's something that just... I just love it. It can be so cheesy. I think it's his songwriting is so great. I think it's that kind of cheesy songwriting combined with his kind of gruff, rocky voice. Ugh, let's, let's listen to him. I mean, the thing with Brian Adams as well is that his vocal technique is kind of fine. It's not always the best. It certainly would not work for everyone because there's a lot of excess breath coming through. So for some people, like that could cause problems in their voice. And you know, if you are trying to sing like this and you are struggling, maybe it's not the right thing for you. For him, obviously, it's really, really natural and that kind of natural rasp and breathiness kind of is something that he has always done and it's because of the way that his voice is set up. So it doesn't seem to, over the years, have caused much problems and, you know, it's kind of luck of the draw with these things. But for him, it makes him so distinctive. He also has this real ease of high notes, again, which with this kind of breathiness should be really, really difficult. And I think his voice is just naturally set up for that, even though he isn't approaching it in the most technically correct way. Again, it's not gonna work for everyone. If you're struggling to hit those high notes and you're trying it in his style, it might it probably won't work for you. It doesn't work for most people, but it works for Brian Adams. Don't tell me it's not worth trying for. Oh. His pitching is impeccable. You know it's true. Like I've never really heard him off key. Everything I do, I do it for. He has really good vowel choices though. For you, instead of for, he's not closing up, he's opening up onto those vowels. Yes, he's so good. His storytelling is great. Look into your heart And you will find There's nothing there to hide Hide instead of hiding so again, an I is a really annoying vowel and he does it really well. Ha, he goes onto an R instead of hi, which is a little bit wider. Ha. Take my laugh. Laugh. I'm giving up. I will sacrifice. It's like that I, again, that lovely vowel, but because of where he's setting it up in that lower range, it doesn't sound like he's gonna make it. And then he does with that lovely gruff distortion. And it's kind of against all odds, he's managed to achieve these amazing um, high notes and uh, while keeping that heaviness to his tongue. Don't tell me it's not worth fighting for. However, he does lighten off into a mix. We'll talk about that in a bit.
Okay, so it sounds so heavy, yet he is lightening it off. Why is that? Well, it's partially due to that distortion because you're getting those sound waves are disrupted. You're getting a lot of kind of general noise around it, which basically is what distortion is. It's just those sound waves. Uh, they've become not waves. They've just become all wibbly wobbly and they're just noise and he's got that around it which makes your ear kind of tricks it into thinking that it's heavier than it is although he is lightening it off in the normal way like you would hear with most tenors just going up into that lighter kind of mixed place <laughs> I need to listen to him nowadays and see if his voice has managed to hold up. I have to say, as I said before, his pitching is so good. On all those runs, there's not a single little note that's gone out. He sounds just like the recording, even though he's live. <laughs> So good. If you have not seen the Disney movie, I don't think it's even Disney, but Brian Adams did the soundtrack. It's my favorite thing ever. Maybe not because of the story, Spirit of the Cimarron, but because I love his soundtrack. Go check it out. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Do 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 do